Hello, my amazing nerds. Today, I'm going to be doing something a bit different. I am going to be rating. I mean, well, and and telling you how I would change, or one thing I would change about all of Ash's League conferences. Now, I want to clarify. I'm only counting League conferences. So as much as I want to count the Orange League, or the Battle Frontier, <coughs> or the Masters 8, those technically weren't leagues. Sure, the Orange Islands and the, the uh, Battle Frontier require you to collect various badges and or symbols, symbols to like, get to something, but for the Orange League, but that was mostly for one very strong trainer, not exactly an entire league full of other people that were doing this. So, yeah. We're only counting the se So we're counting only the seven main leagues. Kanto, Hojoto, Hoenn, Sido, Unova, Akalos, and Alola leagues. As much as I want to count the others as well, but hey, it's not my fault. Blame Pokemon for not giving us a, a proper Generation 8 anime. I like journeys and all, but I kind of wish we we got that. But now nah, I'm just nitpicking here. Let's continue. For the Indigo Plateau, this one's an absolute classic of of a league. It showcased Ash. It was a pretty decent way to showcase Ash's growth. However, there is a few things I kind of want to change here. Number one being, and you can literally apply this to all of the leagues. There are a good few amount of battles by Ash and or Gary that are not really seen that much. You know, or just, we mostly see the end of the battle or whatnot. So I'd kind of like to see yeah, Ash, sh, those battles more. Again, you can apply this to literally every single other league and you'll probably get the same results. More importantly, let's talk Gary. Gary got eliminated by a random character. And I kind of feel like that's a bit disrespectful to his character. Sure, I'm pretty sure they only did that so, like, you know, they he'd battle Ash in the finals. But I'm, here's what I but I kind of want to do this. I kind of want to make it to where, where Ash beats Richie, but when he battles Gary, he does not use Charizard, and and that costs him, and that cost. This is him to lose, since at the time, Charizard was probably one of his strongest Pokemon. Now you're probably wondering, well how would he be Richie then? Simple, Sparky provokes Charizard to the point where Charizard has to battle, but doesn't listen to Ash, but due to Charizard's overwhelming strength, he overwhelms Sparky. Sparky's Richie's little Pikachu, by the way. Yes, Richie's one of the few people in the anime with actual, who actually actively names his Pokemon, but I digress. I know that's a bit that nitpicky, but I feel like a it'll do well to show to like I feel like it'd be more impactful. No offense to Richie and all, but he, Ash literally just met the guy, so it wouldn't be as impact. So it wasn't as impactful. I mean, it was impactful, but like you know, in terms of lo but is it really in terms of losing to your main rival impactful? Yeah, I don't think so. So that's what I would do. Again, you guys could tell me, you guys, guys can do it in your own way. This is just what I would do. Next, the Silver Conference. Not much I could really change about this one. Well, one thing actually, and I probably forgot. I forgot to mention this for the Kanto League too. Can we not just have like a random trainer win this thing? Like a random that just showed up out of the blue because the riders couldn't bring themselves to like make the person who beat Ash the winner also just at least have their battles be sh also like again have some of the main rivals and all that have their battles be shown have Ash have at battles that Ash wasn't like featured in <coughs> like there was a battle between um, Jeremy and the fire girl forgot her name I remember her just forgot her name like, that battle we only saw to the end of it, I kind of wish we saw that fully. Maybe it's because they're all in the same block as Ash, I don't know. It's a me thing. 
Also, Pat Harrison won the tournament. He beat Ash. He's strong enough to do so. And he's not just some random character. Next, the Evergrande Pokemon Contest. Again, not much to say here. A lot of people might say, have Ash beat Eat Tyson? Well, I kind of disagree with that. Ash's Tyson was arc Ash's me Tyson's Meowth was decently strong at the time, and it was a decently close battle. What mattered most was endurance, and Pikachu just didn't have that much endurance left. And um, as for main changes, I really can't think of anything else besides show more of the battles of the main rivals. Uh, other than that. It's all good and dandy from there. The Lily of the Valley Pokemon Contest. Conference. Sorry. Um. Yeah, there's... This is a very interesting one. It has probably some of the... It's probably one of the best leagues. But it has one of the worst endings. Now, everything else in the league, I'm gonna keep fair. I kind of... I kind of wish... Barry actually battled Ash in the league, so I kind of like it for his round where he battled Paul to be switched up with Ball Paul battling a random character, and him battling Ash, as you know, in like the six on six tournament, and like Ash takes on, well actually I kind of just want to get rid of Tobias altogether, but that's just me, but if you don't want to do that, well, then you're just going to get the most cheated out victory of Ash ever again. So, yeah, I think I'm just going to get rid of Tobias, honestly, and have Ash lose to someone else. I'm not sure. Probably not Paul. I don't want him to lose to Barry. Maybe just at least someone new, like someone conjured up. Maybe the character that Tobias fights in, like, the finals or something. He seems strong, I guess. I'm not sure. Just anyone else but... Just get, get rid of Tobias, alright? Just get rid of Tobias, okay? I'm tired of seeing that man. The Virtress Conference. Yeah, this one's a bit forgettable to most others, as is black and white altogether. I like black and white. I watched it on Tubi. Yeah, a pretty good amount of times. Honestly, this conference was just fine. It was pretty good. It did a decent well on showcasing at least all the battles there were a few that were off screen or we only saw the end of them so I'd kind of like to see more of that um there's enough though there is one big gripe I got it there are a few things I'd like to change number one just have Ash beat Cameron look I like Cameron and all but he had only, but he forgot to bring six Pokemon and only brought five Pokemon to a six on six battle. Ash had the, the advantage from the beginning, and yet the writers went, "Oh wait, uh, should, should we have him lose against the guy that has only that only has five Pokemon in a six on six battle?" Yeah, man, yeah, sure. We need to get the we need to get this new arc. This arc done anyway. Yeah, we. I feel like that was a bit of a cop out, if you ask me. So have Ash beat Cameron. You know, it could be a bit of a like cult thing, and where Cameron thinks, man, maybe I should like rethink more before I do things or something. And also afterwards, have Ash battle a Trip instead. Instead of having him battle Trip in the qualifying rounds, because. Yeah, I have no idea why they did that. Trip was Ash's main rival, and yet the oh, and yet the law, the most amount of po and yet the most amount of Pokemon they've ever used in a battle is a five on five, not a six on six. I kind of want to see them have a five on six on six battle against Ash. So. And also, I don't know, have him blue, and like, at least have, and if you're gonna have Ash lose this conference, have him lose to Virgil. Ash and Virgil has shown to be a very strong trainer, and, eh. and let's be honest here, he beat Cameron, he, let's, I think he has a chance to beat Ash, and also, I'm pretty sure Ash would use his strongest Pokemon at the time, so probably, the Crocodile, Pignite, Palpitoad, Pikachu, of course. Uh, what's 
another good one. Levani! And finally, um... I know people are gonna get triggered if I say I'm pheasant, so... Scraggy, sure. I know it's I know Scraggy's a bit of a random choice, but come on, you gotta get that one at weird ash pick in here. Besides, he's meant to lose. Besides, I'm pretty sure he's gonna lose to Virgil, but I think it's still gonna be a very close battle. Who knows? Maybe it'll be good. Maybe the final battle will be against Virgil's Eevee and Ash's Crooked Island. Nearing the end of the battle, Virgil's Eevee evolves to Sylveon. And I know what you're gonna say, but Gen 6 didn't come out yet! That's the thing. They made a short dur during Gen 5 that had Sylveon in it, so. They could do that if they wanted to! Alright, that was a bit of a longer tangent, I think, I'm not sure. The Lumios Conference, really the only, only gripe I have with this one is that not many of the battles are shown, we mostly see the end of them, so I'd kind of like to see those more. And also, yeah, but other than that, a really good conference. That's really all I had to say in terms of things I would like to change, because honestly, that's really the only thing I can think about, about changing about this conference. Well, that's all. And finally, the Manalo contest conference. Ignore that. Ignore that. Please ignore that. Now then, one one pretty gripe gripe I had with the Manalo conference is the big fat battle royal that happened. I get it. It was to like show off like the way the battle royal worked, but like. I kind of liked the fact. I kind of liked if they did a qualifying round more, like the others. I don't know. This is a personal me thing. Other than that, it was a pretty solid conference. We didn't see much of the battles, but we saw them decently enough to where, or I don't think it's that needed. But it's uh, yeah, it's pretty still pretty needed. But hey, that's all I gotta say. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And who knows. And, uh, tell me what you guys would change about the, these various conferences that Ash did. Also, uh, I'm giving the Alolan contest a little bit more leeway here, because it was literally, because it's the only con- since it's the only f a league that Ash won. And, you know. And, I know there's someone in the comments going, What about the- What about the Battle Frontier? What about- the Orange League, again, league conferences, remember that. Anyways, peace my amazing nerds.